What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jake to the R, and you are watching Software Recording Tutorials. Let's dive right into this one. But first, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do like this video, feel free to share it to your friends and whoever else you want to share it to. But let's dive right into this one. In this video, the problem that we're going to solve is you do not hear any audio in your Cubase. It doesn't matter if it's Cubase ele Elements, doesn't matter which version it is. You've just got Cubase, you've loaded your audio interface, but you still hear no sound. This is a real quick fix, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So let's say you've already started, you've already set up your um, your audio under Studio, Studio Setup. You know, you already got your audio system set up. You've chose the driver that you want it, Everything is right, your delay, your in and outputs are there, but notice something that's very, very important that you should know, and that most people are gonna overlook. If you ever come over here, and you're playing, and you don't hear no sound, and you have no idea, I'm gonna tell you the quick way to figure out you have a problem. Go up to Studio, go to Studio Setup, and yes, you have the particular driver that you have installed, but look over here, it says state inactive for your inputs and output. Now you're gonna come down here and wonder, I don't see anything else, but I'm gonna show you where you can go to activate these inputs. And this is probably why you do not have any sound when you hit play. So these are showing inactive. You can see them, but they're inactive. If that's stuff showing that, you're never gonna get any sound. What you need to do is go ahead and click OK and get out of that. You're going to go back up to Studio, click on Audio Connections. Ooh, got him. And you're going to notice, look, there's nothing connected. So at some point in the process of you setting it up or not setting it up, you did not select your audio connections. So all you have to do to fix that is make sure you're on the input channel. Because sometimes you can hear what you are playing, but you cannot, but it's not recording anything. And here's why. Make sure you're on your input tab. Just come up here and select the audio device that you're using. And now you have direct ports, device ports, one and two active. If you have um, four channel, all of the, all four channels should be active. If you have eight channels, all eight active, eight channels should show uh down here so you got your input set up then just click on over to output look at her you see the bus is there but what, what what does that say not connected click on that and you're going to have your stereo output if you want to expand this selection because all you're seeing is one port you just expand it you just click that that little arrow over here and you expand it out and you can see everything you need now you want to exit out of that. Now watch this. You got sound. So there you go. If that should solve your audio problem. If not, keep Googling. This your boy J to the R. Let me know if you got something out of this video in the comments. Peace.